literally gone <laughs> um, I've been in London this weekend as you know as I mentioned so um, that has all been filmed so I filmed all of that and I just need to edit it all together which I'm quite looking forward to it's gonna be quite funny um, and I don't know when I'm gonna put, be able to put that live or when I, I don't know if I'm actually when I'm gonna be able to edit it at the moment yeah anyway I don't know I don't know when my London vlog's gonna go live but yeah there will be a London vlog come in and then I'll probably put this vlog live at the end of the week depending what I feel and there probably won't be that much to film this week um, it is my birthday on Thursday, but I don't know what I'm doing yet and what can really be filmed. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so it's now Tuesday. Got back from London last night. Had a really, really lovely weekend with Vicky. Had so much fun. We were there for three days. We did a lot of walking. Didn't sleep that much both nights that we stayed out. Stayed out. Didn't sleep both, that much both nights, I stayed there for two nights, so yeah, I was just really shattered yesterday, it just really hit me all of a sudden, I was really, really tired. Um, so tired that I left my bag in St Pancras Station, I literally just got up, took my case and left my like handbag on the side. I thought it was on my back because I wear like a little, I've been wearing like a little leather backpack. I got up and just went and I'd left my bag there. Thankfully, um, we went back and sort of said like, have you found a bag, there should be a bag here. Thankfully someone had handed it in, or they'd handed it straight in to the person that keeps like the lost property, so that was really lucky. Um, because it had my phone, it had my camera, um, I mean my wallet was in my pocket, but yeah, it had, had quite a lot of bit, it had quite a lot of stuff in there, like personal stuff as well, but like, my wallet, my phone and my camera would have been, would have been enough of an, an issue to try and replace, so yeah. Um, there's, uh, <laughs> Laurie had stopped outside my house, was looking in my window watching me film brilliant i will say one thing actually in london i vlogged so much more outside because no one really gives a shit about what you're doing like literally no one pays any attention to me filming like i do that in Whitstable. everyone just says that you like oh god she's filming herself but here but in london it was just so nice to like just be sat in a restaurant happily filming and no one really gives a shit so yeah that was nice <laughs> so i've got a lot more footage of like us doing things outside and stuff which was cool um obviously otherwise it would have all been in our hotel room which i'm sure would have been a bit of a pointless London vlog if it's just in your hotel. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting on now. I'm just procrastinating. Here she is. Hello. Look at you sitting there looking on cash. Oh, that's it. Arty shot. Arty look to the left. Arty look to the right. Love it. Love it. Work it, work that camera. <laughs> Hello, oh, the sun's just has come out. Oh, how lovely, how Christmassy. Um, it is Thursday the, the 20th. I'm really struggling to hear myself talk. My ears are all like. It's Thursday the 20th of December and today it's my birthday. I am officially 33. Wow, how how did that happen? I don't know. Um, it's coming up to what's the time? It's coming up to half past one. Um, I haven't really done a lot of th this morning. I had a bit of a lie in and just sorted out some bits. Just had some breakfast and yeah, haven't really done a lot at all. Been watching Lufa. I'm really watching Lufa again because I only watched it once with Luke and uh, well, I didn't watch it once. I watched the first episode with Luke a little while ago and um, haven't seen any anything else. Oh my god, I really can't talk. Um, I watched it with Luke a little while ago, the first episode, and we haven't, we didn't continue watching it. So I'm going to carry on watching it on my own because he isn't that interested in it. So yeah, I was just re-watching the first episode to remind myself what happened. And then yeah, I'm going to continue watching it. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my mum and Vicky to get here. We're going to spend the afternoon together. And then tonight Luke's joining us for food. So yeah, that should be really nice. So yeah, that's what's happening today. I shall see you a bit later. Me take the time to dig deep underneath this red heat. We could really meet layers. It's time to lose these naysayers. We're better off, the air will be richer 
And everything so much easier We don't need to work so hard We don't need to act strong It's been too long They're not much better, are they? Maybe we look at all of them. They're, they're supposed to be real life expressions. Are they? You know, I do that. I do that all the time. <laughs> Glooby dolls. Adorable dolls with cheeky real life expressions. There's nothing cheeky or adorable about that, is there? They're only four quid. Yeah, come and get you in the night. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you have them in your bedroom, if you put them in bed sort of ones, you put them in one place. They're in a different place in the morning. They do it next year. Wake up, that's in your face. and then I've been to the post office depot to pick up a parcel that got delivered today and I was, when I wasn't in and it's taken me nearly two hours and I live about 15-20 minutes away from the depot and literally five seconds away from Tesco so <laughs> yeah it's been a very long drawn out what I thought was going to be a quick pop out go and get that kind of thing in between jobs um, so basically I had a call at half past ten, which I thought was going to just be half an hour, but it ended up being a little bit longer, and then I had to do some sort of things after the call to kind of supplement the call and then send off if, if that makes any sense. Um, I basically had some actions to do from the call, and then I had to do those to send them off. So I ended up leaving my house about twelve, I think, thinking I'll only be like an hour or so, forgetting it's nearly Christmas, everyone's gone mental, and just like Tesco's was absolutely insane. Like, everyone's just gone nuts, everyone's buying everything. Thing. There's trolleys everywhere, there's there's people everywhere, of course the kids are now off school, so there's children running around everywhere. The whole thing is just insane this time of year, isn't it? So I'm um, sorry if you're jumping up and down there by the way, there's some bumpy bits in the road. So yeah, basically it's cut long story short, it's just been a bit mental. <laughs> so um, it's taken me so much longer than planned to just pop out and get some bits. My next job starts at two and it's currently 25 to two. So I'm on my way back now as in like I'm actually moving now. Go this way. I'm actually moving now so hopefully I won't be too much longer to get home but it just depends because I've just sat in so much traffic. Um, the post office depot was rammed, <laughs> everyone picking up parcels. The car park was rammed and then all the streets nearby were rammed so like, it was really hard to even park up to get go and get my bloody parcel. Um, yeah, so basically two very simple errands. Popping into Tesco just for a couple of bits and going to the post office has taken probably about four if not five times as long as it would normally so yeah that's fun so yeah I had a really nice day yesterday it was my birthday um so I just had a chilled morning and then my mum and Vicky come round at about two we had like a coffee together and then we went to Faversham um, which is a town not far from where I live in Whitstable uh, just because it's quite a nostalgic place for me to go to so I always like to go there on like for different like on my birthday and stuff but like not, not every year on my birthday but I don't know it's just I quite like going there and because because Vicky's like my best friend and we've been best friends since school so we met each other in primary school actually um, and we also went to the same secondary school together the same grammar school um, we, I don't know it's just quite a nostalgic place to go with her as well so the three of us went there went for like a nice walk around went for coffee and cake in one of the nice little coffee shops they have and then just come back to mine basically and chilled out for a little bit and then 
we all went to ZZ with Luke as well. So the four of us went to ZZ last night, mainly because I had a really good voucher from them. They sent me like, because I get a voucher every year from them on my birthday. But this one was really good. It was a free bottle of Prosecco for four of you. So if there's four of you, then you get a free bottle of Prosecco and a free main meal. And it ended up saving us like over 30 pounds we worked out because the Prosecco itself was worth 25 pounds. So yeah. A really good uh, really good deal actually so sign up to their um, I don't know how I even got that I think it's just because I've booked with them before and I've had to put my date of birth in I don't know because I don't really I've not signed up to any clubs or anything with them so but definitely check that out if you haven't like got anything like that set up but yeah like places like ZZ, Prezzo, all the Italians basically they seem to send vouchers when it's your birthday um, but yeah I mean that's a really good saving um, I mean they get their money's worth out of it because I have I probably wouldn't have chosen in all honesty to go to ZZ for my birthday meal um, if they hadn't sent me that and so they've got a meal out of us and obviously I get a really good deal with fruit sacco and free meal so I'm in now I've unpacked everything that I got and I'm just having this for lunch which is a naked burrito bowl from Wicked Vegan Food which is like an exclusive brand that they sell in Tesco I have shown like the packaging and stuff before it doesn't look that great actually on camera but it tastes really good it's really spicy it's got lots of kale and mushrooms and beans and it's quite low calorie and yeah, I just wanted a bit of health because I've been eating so much crap. I just wanted like a nice, healthy, like nutritious meal. Now I need to crack on with work because I'm. It's two o'clock and they've just assigned my job to me, literally as I'm looking at my screen. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna do my work and I shall catch up with you a bit later. Good morning. It's Saturday. Actually, it's not morning. It's lights. Good afternoon. It's Saturday. <laughs> I've got my black coffee. I've just made myself a juice with my new NutriBullet which is um, berries, so it's frozen berries, ginger, an orange, half a lemon, uh, what else did I put in it? Coconut water, I think that was it, yeah, coconut water, orange, lemon, berries and ginger, like fresh ginger cut up. So yeah, it's really good actually. Um, it's come to that time of year where you just feel a bit shit. <laughs> You've been eating and drinking crap and you just feel a bit shit and need a bit of goodness in your life. So yeah, I've kind of got to that stage. So yeah, having a cheeky little smoothie. This room is so messy, I'm really sorry. It's the, I've said to Luke, we have to sort this out during Christmas holiday because I work in this room all the time and it's just a shithole. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm at my desk now, as you can see. I'm just about to start doing a job and then once I've done that, I'm going to edit the rest of my London vlog with Vicky which would have gone up by the time this video goes up, so you would have already seen it, if you've watched it, obviously. Uh, I'll link it above if you if you haven't. Um, yeah, that's it really, I'm just doing some work, and yeah, then I'm gonna um, edit the vlog, and then my other plans for today are to have bath, <laughs> that's in my actual to-dos. I've got job stuff to do tomorrow, but like not, I've got like, um, I need to sort out some contracts and sort out some other bits tomorrow, so, yeah, a bit of a worky weekend this weekend, but then I did have time off during the week. I was off on Monday and off on Thursday, so kind of making up for that. And obviously it's Christmas next week, so I won't really be doing much on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, obviously, Boxing Day. Um, and I'm not really sure about the other days yet, because um, I might have to do some bits with my mum. So, yeah, we'll see about that. As in, like, family-related errands, uh because uh, my basically my grandma's sister passed away in the early, early hours of this morning and she hasn't got any other family so we're kind of going to have to sort out our, all of her like funeral and that kind of stuff and just all the things that happen when someone passes away there's quite a lot of admin to do so um yeah we're going to be doing that so um or I'll be helping her with that where, where I can so yeah um that might end up sort of being stuff that happens during the Christmas holidays but uh yeah, but you know, it is sad when someone dies, but she was in her 90s and she was very, very poorly and you could tell she was struggling. So I'm really pleased for her now that she's at rest, she's at peace and she's, in, you know, in a hospital, being having tubes put in her left, right and centre. Um, it's not nice at all. So I think personally, I know, I know a lot of people don't share my opinion, but my opinion is I would rather be at peace than suffering in a hospital especially when you're in your 90s and there's not really a sense of you getting better so yeah I'd, I'd much rather she wasn't struggling or you know having issues 
also when yeah like I said there's not really much chance of her getting better or living the life she lived before and she was an extremely independent woman and she probably would never have been able to do that ever again so um yeah anyway so she passed away this morning which is, is sad it is sad to lose a family member obviously I know I sound quite like clinical when I talk about things like that but it's just because I see the practical side as well and, and the fact that you know she was in her 90s she wouldn't have got the same life she'd got before and I would rather she was at peace and with her family or is in with her family members that have really passed away than she was struggling in a hospital and, and never going to get better so yeah anyway that was a bit of a waffle um we might be sorting bits out during the Christmas holidays for her so I'm going to try and keep a lot of my time completely clear between Christmas and New Year just so in case like till I find out what's happening so yeah anyway <laughs> to cut a really long waffle short today i'm working and i don't know what else i'm doing later on probably just chilling and watching Lufa and having a bath is, is the plan to be quite honest wrapped all the presents he excited is currently half past five on um Sunday the 23rd of December. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling to talk. I am just about to, so I've just been wrapping presents as I've just shown, and I'm just about to do some editing of my um, weekly vlog. So the vlog you're watching now because I haven't edited it at all yet and I don't even know what clips I've got and if it even makes any sense. So I'm gonna have a look at what clips I've got and stuff so I can put that together. I also need to upload my London video to YouTube because although I've exported it for my movie and I've finished editing and all that kind of thing, I need to actually put it on YouTube because it's not even on YouTube yet. So yeah, so I'm just going to about to do a bit of YouTube stuff now. So yeah, we've had a nice day. We popped to Audi, Home Bargains and M&S earlier because um, all, all three of them are next to each other quite close to where we live. So we popped there and um, got a few bits in there and then I've just been wrapping for the rest of the day basically as you've just seen. Um, um, so yeah, all the wrapping's done now, which is cool, all sorted, and yes, it's going to do some usual. Hello, I'm just editing this vlog and I realised that I haven't actually um, ended it, it's just me saying that I'm going to do some editing and I am actually doing some editing, so I'm going to end the vlog now, thank you so much for watching, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, please subscribe in the link down below, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely Christmas, and I shall be uploading, I'm not sure when but i should be uploading at some point during christmas and new year so i shall see you then thank you bye